What are the tax benefits of investing in real estate? This is one of the three principles, uh, one of the main three principles of real estate that's positive. The first is leverage, the second, well, the first is cash flow, a leverage, and then of course the tax benefits. So the tax benefits are the IRS in the United States gives you the opportunity to write off, have two deductions that are phenomenal. So here's how it works. Uh, you get a certain cash flow stream, right? You, that's your monthly cash flow. That's one of the benefits of real estate, one of the main benefits of real estate. It's the only reason I personally invest in real estate because I love multiple streams of cash flow. So you get that cash flow. What you get as cash flow and what you pocket as cash flow is is can be uh, there's a there's a certain percentage of that that can be written off from a tax perspective and here's what it is it is number one it is the mortgage interest so all the interest that you pay for your mortgage in your mortgage payment there is a principal amount and there is a interest amount that interest amount for investment real estate can be written off and in fact for your private single-family home it can be as well uh, but we're talking about investment grade real estate that mortgage interest is a deduction is a tax deduction uh, for you so that's uh, uh, benefit number one benefit number two is the straight line depreciation so the IRS allows you to take that physical asset minus the land value so let's just give an example. Let's say there is a piece of real estate that is worth 500,000, but of that 500,000, 100,000 is the physical land. The asset itself, the building, the structure is worth 400,000. The IRS allows you to depreciate that 400,000 over 27 and a half years in a straight line depreciation. So you just take basically take that 400,000, you divide it by 27 and a half years, 27.5, and you will get a number and you're allowed to use that depreciation amount every year as a write off against your gain. So in other words, you're getting a benefit from that real estate asset, you're getting a mortgage deduction you're getting a benefit in the sense of cash flow you're getting a benefit in the sense that your tenants are paying your mortgage down and you're also getting the tax benefits in the sense that you can write off that mortgage interest and you can also do a straight line depreciation over 27 and a half years off of your taxes so from a tax perspective, real estate is the way to go. There are so many others. Uh, I'm not a tax uh, professional, but from a real estate standpoint, I would go in, speak to a tax professional that focuses on real estate, look at your specific situation and say, how will the introduction of a real estate asset, and be as specific as you can on the type of asset, how will the introduction of a real estate asset benefit my specific tax situation? That's the question to ask, and then you evaluate it, and I can guarantee you it is going to benefit you.